And the first time I felt that there was something odd going on with my hip was during a routine back kick, which I do a zillion times in classes, in a kickboxing class, it felt like I pulled or injured something, but it didn't quite make sense because when you're doing a back kick, you could understand maybe a hamstring or something feeling off, but to feel the pain where I did, you know, more in the, the lateral of the hip, didn't quite make sense, but you know, anyone out there that's an instructor is gonna realize when you're teaching, you're more focused on everybody in the room and checking form and technique on them. So it's kind of just a thought in the back of my head, like, oh, you just did something probably not so good. Um, and that just seemed to be a constant theme for a little bit there, where I was like, I just don't understand what I, what I could have done to it that was causing pain in that, you know, people that love to work out, like myself, you're used to aches and pains that kind of come up from training that are good aches and pains. Like, you know, oh, my glutes are sore or my abs are sore from something. This was different. This wasn't, this wasn't the kind of stuff you look for as a trainer or as a, a fitness enthusiast. Um, I could tell that it was different, but didn't quite know how or why. I have been into fitness my whole life. I can remember in high school um, getting my first real job as a exercise instructor and, uh, and falling in love with it then. So, I mean, that was like my first real job. And now I have a business where I teach probably two to three classes a day and in between I do boxing training, um, which is again, very physical, but I like to call it sympathy training where I do all of my drills with my clients because I think there's a camaraderie that builds and a connection that, that we're, we're in it together, we're doing things together. So, so I'm very blessed and happy that I've been able to create a very successful career that encompasses what I love to do and what I'm passionate about. So, um, so that's my day. So it's, uh, it's group fitness, uh, kickboxing, body sculpt classes, boxing classes, um, and then some specialty classes thrown in uh, in between those. What is that? I made a guesstimate that it's been a year since that initial pain. But what's, what's now when you, know, when you look back on things afterwards, you're like, oh, wow, now it makes sense. Um, we're talking about my right hip, and I can remember probably a good 15 years ago, um, a physical therapist watched me do my boxing training, and he just happened to be walking by and afterwards said to me, you know, it looks like you're a little bit um, sensitive on the, your right side in, in your gait. And, and you know, he pointed out different ways that my right side looked a little bit weak. So that, that at that time, his suggestion was make sure you're, doing, uh, you're also doing a southpaw lead training, which I was already doing um, for the physical uh, or the exercise element for my, my clients, but it made me a lot more aware and, and I try to be very consistent on, on keeping that equal training um, for my body as well as my clients. But it just makes you think, you know, when I look back now, I'm like, oh, maybe there was a, a lot of signs that this was coming, but I just never put all of it together and never had it checked because I'm, um, I'm healthy, I'm fit. It just never dawned on me that there could be an underlying factor such as a genetic component that I, I just didn't, you know, my brain never even went that direction. So you had the, your, uh, about a year ago, you felt there might be something wrong. Um, how long did it take for you to go to a doctor and have it checked out? Tell a little bit of that story, like what you thought it was, the different things you tried, and why did you finally go to the doctor and how long did that take? Well, from, from initial feel of 
that there might be something wrong, it was probably a good six to seven months before I actually got it checked. A little bit of that, I think, is just, you know, we're in our 50s, I feel very healthy. I feel the healthiest I've been, probably healthier than when I was 20. I mean, I, um, I take care of myself well. It's just one of those moments where you're like, you know, it can't really be anything that serious. Um, I think that I, in my head, thought possibly over training because of my career. So I started adding a lot more elements of, of yoga and stretching into my routine. Um, I also started looking at nutrition elements that can help with inflammation because overtraining can lead to inflammation, which causes, you know, it could be pain like, like I, was, I was experiencing. Um, I added cryotherapy into my routine, which I still, I mean, all of these things are to help with inflammation. So that's something great for anyone who's into fitness or into anything physical should be adding that in. So that was all, you know, it's all great things. I, I found body specialists were, that were good at checking the, the technique and, and, and how your body's moving. And, and so these are all really positive steps that were taken. Uh, and, and I think it came down to honestly being told that the inflammation on this side was actually very, um, very present. Um, I think it was when I was told, you know, my one thigh is looking bigger. So, so why is one side looking um, swollen? You know, more on the, the frontal of my body, which you know, whenever you think of like a glute or a something like that, you know, it wouldn't be presenting here. So that was where I was like, okay, I should be checking to see what what is going on with this. So that did send me to a doctor the first time out, and 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 and. The first time it was x-rayed, I was told it could be arthritis, which again, you know, in my 50s, I'm like, whoa, there's no way, that's, 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 that's incorrect. That kind of pushed me back from seeking medical because I didn't want to hear that as an answer. I'm